Back to that big breaking story in the world of football, David Beckham saying he's going to hang up his boots. Alex Thomas joining us now from CNN London with more on this. I don't, I don't know, it's, it's not really a shock, is it? He was getting on, he'd talked, you know, sort of, it was heading that way. Would you agree? Well, it's a bit like Sir Alex Ferguson, who Beckham played with under, under at Manchester United, Michael, that we've been saying for years, oh, this could be his last season, but he looked like he might want to go on. He keeps himself in very good shape at the age of 38, and there have been footballers that have gone on beyond that age, but Beckham is finally hanging up his boots. Uh, since we last spoke about 20 minutes or so ago, Michael, we've had a statement in from England's Football Association, the governing body, and how apt it is that Beckham is releasing details through his national association. Despite the modern age and the trend for footballers to focus on their club careers ahead of their international prospects, Beckham never retired from England. He always made himself available, even though the recent managers haven't felt the need to call him up. He said to the FA, I feel now is the right time to finish my career playing at the highest level. I want to thank all my teammates, the great managers that I had the pleasure of learning from. I also want to thank the fans who've all supported me and given me the strength to succeed. If you told me as a young boy I would have played for and won trophies with my boyhood club, Manchester United, proudly captain and played for my country over 100 times and lined up for some of the biggest clubs in the world, I would have told you it was a fantasy. I'm fortunate to have realised those dreams. Beckham, in fact, winning 115 caps in total for his country, the first to score in three different World Cups, and the first Brit to play in 100 Champions League games, moving on from United to also win the championship in Spain, La Liga with Real Madrid before also pulling off the feet twice with Los Angeles Galaxy in Major League Soccer in the States. And finally, a few months at the end of the season with Paris Saint-Germain helping them lift their first French championship in Liga for nearly two decades, Michael. Yeah, and you look, you, know, you sort of look back through it and you see, you know, in, in one year with Manchester United, uh, the English Premier League, FA Cup, European Champions League, Trophies. Uh, he's got. He, he's contributed to an awful lot of hardware over the years, hasn't he? He's, he's picked good teams to play for. A massive trophy haul for someone that now his playing career is over, and we start to analyse exactly what his status in the game will be remembered as. Actually, he's possibly more successful on the pitch than on the pitch than many people give him credit for. Uh, I think we've got a little graphic that we can show you that just sums up some of his achievements. And we were talking about his time at Manchester United being his the dearest to him. And he won the Premier League six times, also two FA Cups, and also, of course, the Champions League with United in 1999, their treble winning season. But also, we talk about Brand Beckham. There you can see that, according to a Sports Illustrated report, he's projected to earn more than $48 million this year. And Forbes magazine also placed him as the eighth highest paid athlete in the world with an, an annual salary of $46 million. That report came out last summer. And, of course, his endorsements are three times more than his salary, so he knows full well how commercial activities off the pitch are the part of being a modern celebrity athlete, no matter what sport you're in. And, of course, football, with its global appeal, is one of the best to earn big bucks in. A Sunday Times newspaper rich list said Beckham's worth was $251 million. So whichever of those figures you want to pick out, Michael, it certainly adds to a lot. Let me leave the final word for now to Gary Lineker, himself a former uh, England uh, player. And he said on Twitter a few moments ago, Beckham will be remembered as a wonderful player, a global superstar, a magnificent ambassador for England and for football. And I think you'll find today very few people who would disagree with that. Yeah, not bad. 50 million in your uh, retirement year. That, uh, that, that won't hurt. I'm sure he'll continue to earn millions too, like uh, we've seen with Shaquille O'Neal and others after their retirement. Alex, I know you've interviewed him several times. Good to talk to you and there'll be more in world sport, no doubt. Good to see you. Alex Thomas there in London.